uh, Lance Storm. Definitely still on the list. Did you uh, see his uh, his tweet that people were kind of making fun of him for? What did he say? Uh, prior to Raw, he tweeted, I'm fine either way, but I hope that the Flair birthday party on Raw is not interrupted and it's just a feel-good, happy moment. So he, he wanted it just to be a, a party and no angles, and everybody was kind of like, oh, my God. <laughs> Lance got a very bizarre way of looking at the business. I mean, that's, you know. <laughs> I, I mean, obviously, it was going to be a setup for something, right? That's not- well, the road to WrestleMania, yeah, they're going to throw away a segment to throw a birthday party for Ric Flair, by the way. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's like, come on. <laughs> but he did, he did respond to all the criticism, and he said, why do people feel the need to argue or try to explain the wrestling business to me when I just make a simple statement about what I would like to see? So he was, Well, here's a problem. When you make a simple statement to how many followers does he have? Lance currently has uh, 232,000. Okay, and you're not expecting nobody to comment back on it? Or you're not expecting nobody to disagree with you? So once you make a public statement on your Twitter page, everybody's fair game, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely. 